Hello, my name is Lent, which you call me Lent, and welcome to this video. So, the whale build is progressing quite nicely. I think the whales themselves are taking shape really well. Um, there's some scenery I wanted to put around it, but in, in all in all, build just isn't epic enough yet. So I want to really put this in its own realm with uh, stuff to it. And uh, I think I'm going to world paint a map for that, so um, we're going to do that right now. I'm going to create a new world. Um, call it Wheel Realm Test Dimensions. I'm not sure how big I'm going to make this. D depends how much stuff I can put in it, kind of. Uh, so I think 2.5k uh, should about cut it. Height, of course, like that. Level, going to set that to 1. This to 10. Water level at 0. No beaches. Horizontal hill size. What shall I do with that? Mm hmm. Now, this, this is. Do you want to make it really cloudy or not? That's the question. Of course, you can return later to this step again, but. Um, no, I think I. Yeah, I think big clouds would be best, so I'll keep it like this. Um, okay. Doesn't really matter. Service material. I'm going to set it to custom one because I'm thinking these, um, like the wheel itself, is quite big. It's almost 200 blocks high, and of course, on top of that, I stack some houses, so it's pretty damn high built. Um, so what I'm thinking is the 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 height of these clouds is like really low, and um, yeah, I want this to be, as I said in the, in the, in one of the first videos, that I want to really like. A, moist planet, there's a lot of uh, foggy clouds and stuff and um, so yeah I'm thinking just the floor of this map is all clouds, all mist um, and so there I'm just creating this template with like this, the default generator in, in, in World Painter will suffice for these clouds shapes in my opinion I think so um, I'm setting the surface material to one so that I can turn it into cobwebs I think that would probably make the best clouds so I'm just going to create this map and it's generating okay so let's do the 3D view as well okay where are we Um, let's see if I've, I'm synced up with the 3D view. That would be useful. No, it doesn't look like it. Um, oh shit. And there it is. So, okay. <coughs> That's... I'm thinking that, um... I said, let's first make it into cobwebs, by the way, the, the top layer, and cobweb is block ID 30. So, this will turn all to cobwebs uh, when I'm exporting this. Um, what I'm thinking of, because we have our wheel, of course, which is flying, but I think there can be another people, um, like like we had in the beginning with humans, we had hunter-gatherers and farmers, and they, at some point, the Neanderthal and whatever, that other race, um, they lived together in the same time period, and I think we can have the same thing here, but I think, like, um, there can also be a, a people that actually um, live on a more permanent um, spots, and just travel from spot to spot wherever the season is right. So um, I'm thinking that I need to put some like um, mountain tops uh, perching out of the out of the mist clouds down below, and um, and I want to make a town on one of those. If 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 I can make like a sheltered valley or something, um, because another thing that I'm thinking is this mist would probably um, like be driven up the mountains. And I'm not sure if everybody know, but uh, can I can I think an effect like um, like the the rock of Gibraltar. It has if I'm not sure in what time, but it, at some point um, the mist will be driven up the mountain, and when it goes over, it 
you get this vortex kind of shape and those pretty cool so I think I'm going to do that um, in this map as well that I'm going to make like uh, mist going up these mountains on the outside and then curl around over the top from one direction I think that would really give it a cool effect and um, as for the style of this town which I'm thinking of um, <coughs> probably kind of oriental I guess okay so I will pay that for about 30 minutes and I talked quite a bit about like wall painting and such but um, like the information it wasn't uh, really dense enough but to me it just seemed like a waste of time to let people watch it um, so instead I'm just going to do a quick update to kind of what I'm leaning towards um, so I'm still thinking of an oriental style um, and uh, so with rice patties and such but also maybe a bit bit more fantasy not really like those Japanese uh, rice paper walls that would be too easy I do want to make it somewhat my own and creative um, I, I need to work that out I'm, I haven't like the style um, make it a bit more interesting as just the standard generic Japanese oriental stuff um, but yeah so if, if but if you have suggestions for a better style you can leave them also as well in the comments that would be nice because um, I, s I always appreciate suggestions because it helps me develop my own ideas as well. Um, so what I, what I did our world paint is um, this is kind of a huge crater lake as I um, or a huge um, uh, volcano which is uh, not longer active and this is of course a giant now now it's just a grass plains but there's still there's a smaller volcano which is still active. Um, might do something with like smoke coming out of it just make it a bit more dramatic again um, then there are crater lakes this can also be uh, like smaller volcanoes w which are no longer active and water's gathering in there um, because I want to have a waterfall here running down towards rice paddies and I think this this these plateaus I will turn into rice paddies so that would be kind of interesting I think on top of here on this high plateau I'm thinking of towns and buildings so we'll have towns and buildings on, on the highest plateau, then we have rice space running all along down the road. And um, in the bottom here, we can do more buildings or villages, or um, something specific to the style, because I also need to make like um, something with the with the, really the main theme, with the sea creatures. Um, I'm not, sh not, haven't really worked out yet how I'm going to um, blend that with the oriental style but I need some some way for the dolphins and such so um, I think this this is kind of my area which I've kind of undecided on that's also why it's so kind of undefined um, and in, in the video I didn't like made it slow down for this yellow stuff which I painted on but this is basically um, custom ground cover layer uh, made out of cobwebs and this will make like um, mist running up the mountainsides on the exterior. Um, they can be blown up by wind or something like that. And I think um, the wind is coming from this direction, so I'm going to do that um, Rock of Gibraltar thing with the mist vortex um, along this side of the of the mountain ranges. And I'm going to do that in the probably the lowest valleys and every now and then just something um, goes through there. So um, that would be interesting, but I can't, of course, world paint that. Um, I'm not even sure if I can do it in Minecraft, um, but I think the the idea I think would be really cool. So I try to emulate that. Um, there aren't much details in this map other than just a copy of layer, I guess. Um, that is for the next video. Um, it also, give me some time to deliberate on what I'm going to do with the map further. And um, so yeah, this is kind of the status quo for this now. Um, if you have any suggestions for another style other than Oriental, or have a really well like executed well Oriental style, um, leave leave the suggestions down below in the comments. I would really appreciate those. And um, so yeah, I want to thank you for watching this video, and have an awesome day.